we're in a situation where we're better situated than, than we were when we took office, where we, inflation was skyrocketing, and we have a plan to deal with it. And as you can expect, former President Trump also weighing in on the issue, posting, quote, inflation is back and raging. The Fed will never be able to credibly lower interest rates. So when will inflation subside and what can Americans expect in the coming months? We're breaking it all down. NBC's Ellison Barber starts us off tonight. Tonight, the fallout from a worse than expected inflation report, sending fears rippling through the markets. 3.5. This is three tenths, three tenths hotter than we looked at in the rear view mirror, 3.2. The news plunging all major indexes. At close, the Dow Jones still down more than 400 points. Consumer prices headed in the wrong direction for a third straight month in March rising 3.5% over last year, with gas and housing prices leading the surge. Eggs, anything you buy, you know, it's very high. A host of sectors seem to be feeling it. The price of eggs rising almost 5%, baby formula up nearly 10%, and car insurance spiking more than 22%. We should just get used to the fact that higher prices are here to stay. We always say the cure for high prices is high prices because eventually consumers stop spending. Well, we haven't stopped spending, so businesses are used to keeping these prices at these levels, and this is probably where they're going to stay for the foreseeable future. Since the start of the pandemic, Americans have seen price averages rise more than 20% overall, despite other positive economic signs. I'm feeling way more than 3.5%. Uh, I have a lot of friends who used to, like, you know, grab a few beers and watch the football game at their house. It's getting way too expensive to do that. The Federal Reserve implemented a string of historic interest rate hikes in hopes of tamping down the explosion of inflation, which, according to the St. Louis Fed, was at least partially caused by pandemic era stimulus checks. At the start of the year, experts believed inflation was finally coming down and interest rate cuts were on the way. The problem is now that the economy has been very strong and basically the uh, decline in inflation is stalling. Now it appears interest rate relief will have to wait. We, we were saying that we'll, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. We consistently said that. It's unwelcome news for Americans looking to buy a home in a market where mortgage rates remain stubbornly high. The 30-year fixed mortgage, the most popular lending product out there in the housing market. Well, the 30-year fixed is still around 7%, and it's keeping the housing market in a deep freeze. So we're probably not going to see an aggressive home buying or home selling market this spring. That could come later this summer or into the fall or potentially pushed out all the way into next year. One bright spot, the report shows that wage growth is outpacing inflation, meaning Americans have more money to spend but they're still facing the remnants of pandemic era price surges without pandemic era relief checks, leaving many still asking when or if substantial relief will come. Post pandemic, it just feels like every single company is trying to squeeze as much money out of the consumer as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.